Hello, my name is Sarah Plehall. I am the preschool teacher at St. James Elementary School. I wanted to welcome you to our program. Hopefully this video will be able to give you a little bit more information about our preschool programs and what we have to offer here at St. James Elementary School. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to myself or to our school administration to find out a little bit more information about our programs. In this video, I am going to go through and talk about what our daily schedule looks like and just some of the little things that we do here in our preschool program and hopefully encourage you to take a tour and to check out what our classroom looks like. So we are a very play-based learning classroom. I really like to focus on the social and emotional learning of my students and really getting them to feel comfortable playing with each other and comfortable with the school setting. For some of our kiddos, it's their first time ever being away from their grown up. And so it can be a scary and intimidating time, but we try to welcome them in with love and with different activities that really help guide them to feeling more comfortable with being at school. We currently have two different sections of preschool. We have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning class that runs for about two and a half hours, and that's our 3K program, so any of our three and four year olds. And then we have an afternoon group that meets on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for about two and a half hours, and that's our more traditional 4K group. So our four and five year olds and those kiddos that are getting ready to go into kindergarten next year. So we offer those two different sections currently, and it's been a blast this year. We have a lot of wonderful students and a lot of wonderful activities that we've been doing. So I wanted to go through and just explain a little bit about what our day looks like. Our schedule is pretty similar between our 3K and our 4K in terms of what we do in those two and a half hours. But of course, we differentiate the learning depending on what age level we are working with. So typically students arrive, whether it's the morning or the afternoon class, they come up into our classroom and they put their things away in their lockers. And typically we have a sort of transitional activity sitting on the table for them, whether that is a color by number or a counting activity or working on our letters and numbers, or it could just be a craft that we are working on at that particular day or week. And so it's a nice way for students to come in, get their stuff put away, sit down and sort of transition into getting ready to be in the classroom. One thing that we really focus on here at St. James is teaching students the independence to be able to walk up the stairs and come into our classroom all by themselves, which can be scary and sometimes even for the grown-ups, it's a little bit of a sad moment, but it's really good to teach our students those skills to be able to walk up into the classroom all by themselves and get ready for the day. Our goal here is trying to transition students to that kindergarten age where they're walking in by themselves. So we really encourage that from our students. So we come into the classroom, we have a transitional activity, and then students are free to play together for a little bit until everybody's arrived. I like to give students a lot of free play time where they can explore together, they can create together, and just learn how to play together and interact with one another. So we have a little bit of free play time, and then once everybody has arrived and we've played for a little bit and had some fun, we clean up and then we come to our morning meeting time. Clean up is really important too for our preschool students to be able to learn of being able to pick things up, put things back where they found them, and really clean up the room and take pride and responsibility for the classroom. So clean up, we meet then for our morning meeting. And in our morning meeting, we go over our calendar, which you can kind of see sort of right here next to me. But we go through our calendar, we talk about the days of the week, talk about the month, and that's our opportunity to count how many days we've had of the month so far. We also talk about the weather, so it's a great chance for students to look outside and see what the weather's doing, and we talk about what weather is and what it means if it's cold outside or if it's raining and things like that. We also um, go through a story in the Bible, and I'll show you right here. We have the Beginner's Bible 
for our students. And every day I go through and read the next story that is in the Bible. And it's been a really fun experience for our students. They always wanna know what story is coming up next or why did that happen or what's going on in this story. And it's a great way for us to incorporate our faith right during our morning meeting time. After we read from the Bible, I typically will read another story or two, depending on the, how much time we have um, for our students. And then that kind of concludes our morning meeting time. It's just a nice way for us to check in with each other, see how everyone's doing and make sure that we all know what to expect for our day. After our morning meeting, we take a bathroom break. Again, working on the independence of being able to go into the bathroom by ourselves, washing our hands, making sure we're making good choices in the bathroom. And after our bathroom break, we come back to the classroom and we get ready to go outside. Now we are fortunate that in the fall and spring, we usually have pretty beautiful weather, but in the winter, we of course know that in Wisconsin, we have a lot of cold days. So our getting ready for outside time really also focuses on those students being able to zip up their jackets by themselves, get dressed by themselves and feel independent in that skill. Typically our recess time is about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the day. If it's really cold outside, we of course won't go outside and we'll find a different indoor activity to kind of burn their energy off. But it's a really fun time for them to continue that free play, continue to work on playing together and that social emotional learning outside. After our recess, we come back in for another bathroom break to wash our hands, and then we get ready for snack time. And snack typically is just a really small little option for the kiddos, um, nothing too big, but it's really nice because it gives students a chance to help pass out the snack. It gives students a chance to bring snacks in to share with their classmates. And families typically will sign up for a few days throughout the year where they bring a snack in for their whole class. So we enjoy a little snack, and then typically after snack time, we will have another transitional activity. Students are able to read books if they would like, play with the toys, do um, a coloring activity or a counting activity again, and then we gear up for our end of day because by that point, we've already reached sort of the end of our day. And we will then have a closing meeting where we do our sound basket time. So every week we have a different letter of the week and students are able to bring in items from home that start with that letter of that week. And it's a great way for us to learn our alphabet, learn our letters, and just learn new words of, of whatever that letter is that week of different words that start with that letter. After our sound basket time, it is time for us to pack up and go home. So our day does go by pretty quickly. When you think about two and a half hours, we have a lot of stuff that we try to fill into that two and a half hours. A lot of letters and numbers and free play and social and emotional learning. Students are always welcome to read books in here. We have a full library of books. We have lots of different activities, lots of activities to do fine motor practice of cutting with scissors or coloring or using hole punchers, things like that that are gonna strengthen their hands, strengthen their muscles um, in those fine motor skills department. Again, our 3K and 4K day looks pretty much like that, how I explained, but our 4K gets a few little extra things because being that it's 4K, they're gearing up for kindergarten and we wanna sort of include some of those more specialty parts of the day for them. So for 4K on Mondays, typically our kindergarten students will come into our classroom and we'll do an activity with our kindergarten students. And it's just another great way for our preschoolers to learn some other faces that they see in the school building throughout the day. On Wednesdays, we have fifth graders come into our classroom and we have fifth grade reading buddies. And typically they will read a few stories to our preschool students or they will play a game or do an activity together. But it's another great way for our oldest students to interact with our youngest students. And then 4K also has the opportunity to go to the library once a week on Thursdays where we get to check out a book and go through that process as well so that they start learning how to take care of books and how to be responsible for their library book. So we are very busy here in the preschool room and we would love to have your child in our classroom. We are very fortunate that it is myself, Mrs. Plehall, and I have an aide also full time in the classroom who is helping with our students, who's interacting with them. So we are very fortunate that we have two adults in our classroom at all times 
taking care of your children and really interacting and connecting with them. We have pretty small class sizes, which is also a beautiful thing. We are able to connect with each student on a more individual basis and really get to know not only the student, but the families as well, because the family interaction is also a very key part of keeping our preschool program going. So I really hope that you consider coming to St. James Elementary. We would love to have you here. If you have any interest in joining our programs, please contact our school and set up a tour and come check out our space and come meet myself and our aide and see what we're all about here at St. James Elementary. We are very focused again on that social emotional learning. We include our faith in a lot of what we do. I mentioned we read from the Bible, but we also pray before snack time. We have a religion lesson throughout our week as well. So we really try to incorporate the faith component as well and keeping that at the forefront of what we do here at St. James. So I hope you consider coming here. Again, if you'd like to take a tour, please let us know. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.